bandage up for The Walking Dead. We are quite the sneaky little bitch. Thought they were kind of like waiting for me right here or something. Like, no! <laughs> After all my hard work. Yeah, it's clean enough. I don't know what she was whining about. Now the hard part. This is gonna be like cutting off Lee's arm. At least it's the top. I think the top is a little less sensitive this than the is bottom. Suck. Yeah. Right there with you, Clementine. This is gonna suck. Ooh, burn. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Now the fun part. You think that alcohol hurt? <laughs> you about to learn to date. Knit one, pearl two. showed me oh dear god oh I can't do this I can't do this oh Whoa. still haven't completed the challenge not hitting the pause button who's keeping tabs on that I think this time I had an excuse. That shit made me flip hardcore. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, oh my God. You guys don't know this. I have a... Mega fear of needles. Mega, 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 mega fear. Oh my god. But I haven't been afraid of a sewing needle before. But I'll tell you what. This has officially done it. Oh. Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Yeah, I thought you might get a little hazy there. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Yeah, I've never had stitches in real life, so... Fuck. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Let's take a breather. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that looked like it better. Get it! What the? Get that shit right now. Oh, is that the wrong choice? Oh, shit, sticks. Oh my god, me and this freaking pause button. Stab him with it! Goodbye. Holy 
shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Damn straight, this bitch. change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? <laughs> I was expecting it to make me say something with that long ass pause. <laughs> This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Yeah, be angry, you're wrong, bro. You're so cool. you wouldn't have done what you did I was hurt and you weren't helping because we considered you a threat which you were maybe you still are no I'm not we put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones and then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us whoa she told you I'll give you the benefit of the doubt but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure. You are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. You know what? There's gonna be like a group of people that come here and attack us out of hey, coincidence. Uh, you some food if you're hungry. And they're gonna be like, oh I knew it. I knew it's her fault. Like, bitch, it's not my fault. People found you. <laughs> like, what do you want That's me to do? Leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. The fuck you want, man? The fuck you want? Now nah, fuck your apology. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely. I should cool. be like prison badass. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. And be like, don't hold it against him. Fuck yeah, I guess you. we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just uh, we had a bad experience once. You were still out of line. Bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. Bad 
things have happened to everyone. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So... What happened to your parents, if you don't mind me asking? I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well... I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. Lee was the best, he taught man. Me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. I was too young and too stupid to do anything right. He died because of me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Is he like bald, but the outline of his hair isn't? <laughs> This is the most fucked up haircut I've... Alright, no, that's not the most fucked up haircut I've ever seen. Some friggin' oh, whack jobs out there. Still here. This bitch. Get out my face. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! Don't talk to me like that. Oh, what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a you mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. Oh, fuck this bitch up. I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. Let's kill her. After the baby's born. She'll never see it coming. Ever. I mean, would you? Yeah, Yo, you know some shit's gonna go down right now. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. She does not look like a Rebecca. When she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? 
By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridgeline. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. What a baby. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Oh, my God. Dial down the testosterone. Well, even us again. I know where the fucking river is. That hair. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. You should tell him that. Uncle Pete! Nick! What? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. You're Carver? What do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Must be like their Crawford or something. This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. I feel like he's on, gonna Glenn. accidentally you shoot be me useful? or something. Keep or a shoot him. On that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look. Just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
I hate how slow they walk. Wait, come on. Get over there. These were the assholes that killed Krista. Or you know what? I never saw her dead, so... You. <coughs> That's my backpack. <coughs> you were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please. Tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Yeah. Fuck no. Shit, no! Feet! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Oh, shit. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! This motherfuckers... I, I called it. I mean, come on. I keep saying I call it, but... It's pretty obvious, am I right? Sorry, man, you're bit. Oh, shit. Well, he was bit, but he didn't know that. And what? Oh, oh, come on! What are we gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I really don't like these people. I can't. I don't know why. Going. I figure we got about four to five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. No! Who was it? What? No! 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 <laughs> That's bullshit! <laughs> Try to save Krista? Yes, you and 83.8 players stopped. Uh, did you kill the dog? We all killed the dog. Did you accept Nick's apology? You and 87% of players accepted his apology. Did you give water to the dying man? Really? They gave it to him? Oof. Why? He was a, obviously a dick if he stole my shit. And he had Krista. Did you save Nick or Pete? You and 47% of players went with Nick. They went with the other guy, but he was bit. Like, what would what be the point? I think she's saying that Krista is still alive. So I guess in episode two, we'll see that. And you'll have to see if he gets attacked and dies in the next one. Like and comment if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Venori, out.